Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the one and the only Rum Boys Fantasy Network. As always, I'm your host. It's your boy, Rum Boys Robbie, a.k.a. The Admiral. Thank you guys for joining us this evening uh, here on the Rum Boys Fantasy Network. Whatever time you may be watching this morning, evening, afternoon, it's an upload, you know. Uh, make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel right away. Um, we're growing. A lot of, lot of new things coming in the works. Uh, Run Boys Fans Network, hashtag for the culture. Uh, super excited about, about a lot a lot of new people that have been joining the channel. So make sure that you guys subscribe to the content. Share the content on all of your social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. Um, all that good stuff. If you got it, put it out there, Clubhouse, LinkedIn, whatever, whatever social media platforms that you guys have. Um, and also be sure to like the content as well. Um, just want to remind you guys before I get into um part two of the picks. I know that I did my picks during the wild card weekend, and well, we got we kind of got 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 a little, little little fuddled during that. Um, you know, some some teams got out. Now we got a, got a set of teams that are in uh, here in our next round. Uh, but I do want to remind you guys really quick, promo code RUMBOYS, that is RUMBOYS spelled with a Z, the same way that you see it all over all of our, all of our advertisements, say, the same way that you see it behind me, RUMBOYS right there in the graffiti. Uh, promo code RUMBOYS on monkeyknifefight.com. I am matching deposits. We are matching deposits all the way up to $50. So your very first deposit all the way up to fifty dollars. I'm gonna match you with you know another fifty. Or you know if you play twenty your first go around, I'll match you with a twenty. You play ten, you know your first go around, I'll match you on the ten. We got NBA action going on. We have NFL playoffs action going on. College basketball, uh, as well as esports and PGA, NASCAR. Uh, you know all, all you you name it, we got it over there on MonkeyNightFight.com. Just make sure that you sign up. With promo with, with promo code Rumboys, just like you see behind me, that is Rumboys spelled with the Z. Download the app on all Apple iOS devices. That is, ladies and gentlemen, MonkeyKnifeFight.com. Dilly dilly, y'all. Let's go ahead and let's let's dive in to uh, some some predictions, right? I mean, that, after all that, that's why you guys are here. We're going to talk about um, some over unders, some game scripts. Um, first things first, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hey, cheers to me, cheers to you, all the wrong boys and girls. What it do, dilly dilly, y'all. Love and appreciate all of you. <sighs> Woo! That one's a little chilly, and I threw through a little something um in my Popeyes cup earlier. Got a little drink up in there. All righty, so let's get in to predicting. Um, some games, as you see, we got our bracket here, AFC over on uh, the left side of the screen and right side of the screen. We have the NFC. Um, you see that we have for our, our, our remaining teams, you know, Rams, Packers, Ravens, Bills, Browns, Chiefs, Buccaneers, Saints. Um, how we got down uh to 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 this point uh here here in, in the uh the, the divisional rounds i'm just gonna go back to wild card weekend really fast of course the buccaneers uh close out wild card weekend 31 to 23 uh brady had out dueled taylor hennicky there but hennicky you know did damn good and of course we we had washington in that game um i i went with washington i mean i've as, if you remember on that episode i said hey you know he's the goat brady's the goat it was going to be an uh, uphill battle for Washington. Um, it was more so just just, just fun in, in taking in taking my, my my team Washington. But all in all, we knew that the Bucks were going to win. Um, Bills Colts that that one ended in a in a twenty seven twenty four affair. Where honestly, the Bills pretty much boat raced for for three whole quarters. It wasn't until about 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 end of the third fourth quarter with Philip Rivers. Really started to get it going for 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 Indianapolis, uh, but all's well ends well and is okay. We got that one predicted right in terms of bills, 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 bills. Freaking bills, mafia! Break out the tables. Um, where you're gonna see uh, how 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 your success is gonna pan out when I begin predicting you guys for the next round uh, following your advancement. Rams, Seahawks. Um, 
Ram, 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 Seahawks here really quick. Let me just there. Let me just switch over to just me for a second here. Um, Rams, Seahawks, that one broke down in a 32-20 scoring affair, um, ending in, in, in a 10-point spread in favor of the Rams. Uh, to be honest, I think I feel like I feel like that one turned out a little bit more high scoring than I than I than I thought uh, uh, it would be. Um, I would have suggested that 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 Seattle would have won that, um, you know. But now the Rams. I mean, it sounds like golf is going to be the guy, you know, to finish to finish out for the Rams for the playoffs. Um, I'm assuming Aaron Donald Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Donald's going to be fine. A okay. Um, it's the playoffs. All, most of these guys are, are going to play play through injury no matter what. Cam Akers went off. There's still not an answer, it seems like, uh, since about, I want to say, week 15 for Cam Akers. Week, week, for like week 14 on, pretty much, almost. Um, there hasn't really been, been an answer for Cam Akers. He's clearly going to be, be, be the future of that backfield. I feel like one hell of an athlete. Um, Rams fans will be breaking down uh, you know, your, your, your scenarios here. Um, the Ravens best of the Titans, twenty to thirteen. Was not expecting that one. I definitely thought that the Titans were were were, were going to get off early in that one, and then and then do well enough to hold off the Ravens. Um, but La Marvelous did La Marvelous things, getting his first playoff win, pretty much killing the narrative of can can he win win in big moments? I think that that was a big moment last week. Um, we'll see if he can win in even a bigger moment. Uh, whenever we get into our breakdown, uh, Saints, Da Bears. Uh, despite Mitch Trubisky being the Nick MVP, um, the slime was all flowing towards towards the, the, the Saints' way, towards New Orleans' way. Um, not the most highest scoring game, probably honestly, maybe unless you watch the, the Nickelodeon broadcast, probably not the most entertaining game. Um, Twenty-one to nine is how that one ended, and of course, Breeze uh, held it down. Deontay Harris uh, was 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 quite the guy in that in that game. Seven receptions for eighty three yards. Uh, big ups to him, of course. Kamara, we all know what Kamara can do as long as he's touching the ball for twenty plus times. He's gonna give you like you know, he almost he was a yard short of a hundred yard day, but I mean he's gonna give you you know eighty plus. Um, I mean he got that you know he got ninety nine with 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 a with, with the TD. So big ups to to um, Kamara. Um, and then the Brown Steelers. Now, this one was an ass whooping. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Corvette, Corvette. How y'all feel, Steelers? Damn. Y'all better hop in that Corvette, Corvette and fucking drive out of here, which is exactly what happened. Y'all got drove the hell out um, of, of the stadium despite Big Ben. Six ta- 68 attempts. 47 completions, 501 yards, four TDs. Juju's with that 157 yards, sitting there, sitting back, dancing the whole time. While y'all's getting y'all asses whooped. This man lining up and get ready for, 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 for a fucking seven route. And he's sitting there. Don't take that talk like that. You about to get walked out of the damn building, boy. Yo, if I am. And then Chase Claypool talking all the smack that he's talking this week. Say that the Browns are classless, and and, and then saying that, that that the Browns are going to be sitting on the sitting sitting on the couch at home with them after Kansas City's through with them, even if that could be the case, which I'm not, I'm, I haven't gotten into that breakdown yet. Even if that were to be the case, y'all just need to shut the hell up. Just, y'all are at home, and y'all going to mess around and doubt them into a win. Y'all keep talking all that mess. You heard me? Shit. So that ended up in a 48-37 slaughter. Uh, it, it was a slaughter throughout the, pretty much the whole game. But I mean, Big Ben started start started get getting it, getting it going, poured it on there, um, uh, third third and fourth quarter uh, for for the Steelers. But damn, I mean, the Browns scored twenty eight points in, like the first quarter. Like they didn't have to do shit in the third. They just had to be balanced in the second and the in the fourth. You know, ah. <sighs> But yeah, so the Steelers got bounced, and they ain't gonna talk about some. Mika Fitzpatrick gonna talk about some. I think the 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 the, the doubt the, the the decline begun after uh, Washington beat us. No shit, you've been promoted to the rank of fucking captain obvious, bro. Ah. Anyways, 
let's go ahead and let's get into part two of the predictions, okay? By the way, we got the Browns right. Got the Bills right. Let's see, we got the Browns right. Fucking got the Bears wrong. I thought the Bears were probably going to be able to upset, but the Saints held that down. We got the Titans wrong. Um, Seahawks we got wrong. Damn. It, so we had a first go around. Go around, I think, the first time. No, no, I think we got the Saints right. I think we got the Saints right. I think we got the Saints right. I can't remember off the top of my head. Fuck it. Fuck it. All righty. So now that we got that out of the way, we're going to dive right in to predictions. Okay. Um, and I'll go and I'll predict them the way that they are going to be on our bracket. Okay, so I will start with the Ravens Bills first. Okay, so I'll start. I'll start with the Ravens Bills game. That's the first one that we're gonna we're gonna pick them. We're gonna pick them and break it down. Uh, Buffalo favored uh, for two and a half over under, looking like uh, forty nine and a half. So just around under under about 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 a fifty point game right now. And of course, I'm not taking a look at this on on a Thursday night. All lines are subject to move, okay? Um, but I'm looking at this right now here on a Thursday night. Um, that game to be played on the 16th on Saturday. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it looks like that there is going to be some snow in Buffalo, uh, 37 degrees. So I'm 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 enjoying the under because I know that there's going to be snow, um, and I do know that Lamar has already expressed, um, you know, he's hoping that it does not snow in Buffalo. Uh, with that being said, looking at the forecast early in in the week, you know, it, it showing 37 degrees with this, with the sign of snow there there at Orchard Park. I don't know if the Bills are gonna are, are gonna let fans in or not, so I. You know, even even a little bit of of our organic crowd crowd noise, I feel is is a, is a boost. Um, football power index ha has Baltimore with with above fifty percent, just slightly above fifty percent, with a fifty one point four percent chance to win. But I mean, if it snows, plus that defense for Buffalo, um, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ride with Buffalo for 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 the pick. Um, I think I think Buffalo could possibly could 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 win this by the by the two and a half, uh, actually even more uh, if it especially you know like I said like I mentioned with it being being snowy, they're they're just used to it. Stephon Diggs is freaking un is, is unstoppable right now. Um, you know they any any of those any 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 of those those running backs between Moss or 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 Singletary or they're they're going to get carries and then Josh Allen will still be sprinkled into the mix. I just feel like the Bills have more overall weapons um, to balance out their their attack through you know both on the ground and through the air. And then you know once again weather. I just feel defaults us to be able to pick Buffalo, um, and I think I could probably pick Buffalo. I want I want to take Buffalo probably by like by like seven. Um, so actually, I don't think that Baltimore. I don't think that Baltimore covers that. Covers that two and a half. Um, I I just think that once we once 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 the snow starts to start starts to and that's going to be a night game at that. Like once that snow starts to take place, um, which I'm thinking that it will. Then, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that Lamar fair, fair bears too well. I mean, he's going to have to do a whole lot of running to keep himself warm, keep himself comfortable. Um, <clears throat> Hollywood, he a little tiny fella. Des, Des has some experience in the snow. He's had to, he's had to, he's had to, he's had to play play some some snow games his days as a cowboy. He's had to go up there to Lambo and do it. I just think that is super difficult, super super difficult. If you're Baltimore, and the fact that the, that Lamar has kind of already came out and admitted uh, that he that he's hopeful about it about it not snowing, that one kind of shows me, you know, that that, there, that there's some some self doubt. So that'll then lead us into our next game. I'm sorry, there. Apologize. 
Uh, that'll lead us into our next game. I'm gonna go over to the to the NFC, and we're gonna predict that uh that that Buck Saints action. What do y'all say? Let's let, let's let's go over to the NFC. Let's talk Buck Saints really quick. So the Bucks gave it gave it to 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 my team last week. They gave it to to to, to the football team last week. Of course, this game uh, will be played on 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 a, on a um, on a Sunday. Um, it, it's it's going to be played played in, in, in Mercedes Benz Superdome, so we're not having two factor weather in here. Um, one of the things that I'm really really focused on is it is is injuries and personnel. But I mean, once again, this is the playoffs. I feel like guys are just going to get out there and play. Like I think Rojo's still going to get out there and play. Mike Evans is going to figure out a way to stand on his own too. Same same with Godwin. JPP is going to have to figure it out. Carlton Davis, he still played last week um, and, and, and was still a force to be reckoned with. Um, both both teams, you know, score about 30 points per game. Um, the Saints, now here's where here's the differentiator, is the Saints only allow about nine points per game, okay? Uh, whereas Tampa Bay allows 23. Now, it's still Brady Breeze. I feel like both these guys are gonna are gonna are gonna put up put up put up big numbers. They can put up big numbers. Um, taking a look, the Saints have have, have the advantage in the in the, in the in the in the in the running game, which tells me that you know they they they're, they're averaging about about 141, 41.6 yards per game. What that's telling me is that okay. I'm prepared to keep the ball out of Tom Brady's hands if need be. If I have to play keep wave, I have to play time possession, I can do that. Um, let's see here. But they do allow they 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 do allow um their their defense for the Saints, they do allow about 199 through the air. But fuck oh, damn. Bucks they allow 306 through the air. <sighs> Looking at this, once I get into the nitty gritty of this one, Football Power Index FPI has this at a fifty three point six percent advantage to New Orleans. They are favored by three. Um, mm -mm -mm. Over under is set at fifty two at, at currently. So, what's curious about this one to me? I feel like Breeze. Let me see some things. Damn. I feel like Brady's gonna 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 have to have his work cut out for him. Because there are there are drastic differences be, be, be between these two between these two teams. You know, the, the the Bucks will give you everything through the air. They're 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 a little bit better against the run, um, allowing eighty six rushing yards. But I mean, the the Saints defense they're they're only allowing one ninety nine through the air, and forty eight yards on the ground. You know, when we look at the offensive side for the Bucks, you know, yeah, you pass for about two ninety eight and a half. You know, your season average ninety four point nine on the ground, but you know the Saints. El Paso 246, but feed Camara a shit ton of times. And, you know, 141, 141 and a half. I mean, like, I feel like, like, like that, that, that works out for you a little bit better. You know, both teams score about 30 points per game. But one team, the New Orleans Saints, only allows nine points per game. I think that that, that 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 you just barely go under. I think you could you barely just go under on, on that fifty two. Let me see something. Let me, let me see something. The last time, last two two, two times these teams face. because these guys these guys played played each other before. So I mean, so when they saw Tempe in week one, okay, that was a thirty four twenty three game, and which of course the New Orleans New Orleans got the best that time and it was week nine New Orleans got the best again and that was a 38 three 
ass whooping. So I'm going to take the under, right? I'm going to take the under on that 52, and I am going to take the Saints. I'm going to take the under on the 52, and I'm going to take the Saints. I, I just feel like I, just, I don't think that, that, that Tom Brady is going to have, have, have a big enough chip on his shoulder to overcome some of those mathematic, uh, math, mathematical de uh, deficits that we just that, that that we just witnessed whenever um you know me break it down uh uh the, the, the stats there oh wait 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 um uh, hang on all right so that'll lock in that one I don't know why it's still loading hang on all right so while I wait for that for, for uh that to load up with our with our pick there um let's get into to uh our, our our next game hang on sorry y'all i don't know why they started just doing that weird loading thing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just refresh that really quick so we got bills and we got saints for our first two next up we are going to pick uh brown's chiefs uh now that one, that, that 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 one, I find very, 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 very interesting. Um, you know, and I'm, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Let me just give me one second. All right, there we go. I got it back up. Okay, so we got our we got our our our, our bills and our Saints locked in. Okay. Uh, next, we're gonna break down Browns and Chiefs. Now, here's what I find super super interesting about this game. Okay, you have that. This is this is your Cinderella story game right here. I feel like I feel like this is your Cinderella story game because you got the Chiefs favored by it, favored by ten, but the over under set at fifty seven. You know, so it's like okay, you know that that both these teams are going to get off. Like, like, like I feel like Vegas is saying is telling is telling us, and, and that, that, that is a indicator. That is a, that is a that is a key indicator that. They expect this to somehow be a game. That 10, that, that 10 point spread is telling me that maybe third, fourth quarter is when the Chiefs kind of start to boat race away with it. The Browns defense is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. Um, this game has a lot of implications on it. I don't. Know if I want to take the over. Um, <sighs> Baker Mayfield, they, like, like they, the Browns have just looked so damn good, bro. Like the, the, the Browns have looked so good, so good. Like I could see like 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 like, like a thirty-one twenty-four type of game, like 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 a thirty-two twenty-four type of game. Ah, this one is this one is tough. This one is so 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 tough. Here, let, 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 let's get some let's get some uh some some breakdowns here. So see they don't even give you everything be between these two teams. I love how they like completely limited resources on this game breakdown. Let me see if I can find something right here. Let's see what you got for me, yes, man. Nope, they're not even gonna gonna give me give me these CTs breakdown. All right, so then here's what I'm gonna have to do then. One second. God damn it. Pull up. I just want to make sure that I have this right. I want to make sure I'm accurate with, 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 with this. All right. So Cleveland. Cleveland's total offense. 
about 263 per game through the air, 127 yards, about 48 points per game. Shit. Shit. They're nasty. They're nasty on offense. Can't even front about that. Can't even say shit about about them. All right, Cleveland. Let's compare you on on on, uh, on defense. Let's compare you on defense. It's on defense, not the same team. Five oh one. Damn, you're loud. Five, five for one passing yards. 52 rush yards, so definitely significantly, significantly better. Um, definitely significantly better. On the ground, why doesn't ESPN have fucking... Why don't they have the, 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 the Chiefs on this damn list? Like, that is weird. Okay, so the Browns are pretty nasty. They're not they're not revealing the 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 uh the, 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 the Chiefs the Chiefs right now, which is which is I find very, very odd. If they don't have any of the chief stats up on this damn list. Like I literally like like I'm like, yo, am I overlooking it? Like, no, nope, I'm not overlooking it. They got Steelers, Bucks, Colts, Ravens, Bills, Browns, Saints. Yep, Titans. That's crazy. That's crazy that they won't that they don't have Kansas City up on here. It's all good. I'm gonna just go directly to their team. End of the season fourteen and two. All right, and their team stats. That's what I want to see right here. So about 100 and about 112 yards per game. Opponents allow about 122 to them in the rushing attack. Passing attack 303. Opponents usually allow about 236 on them, but they average as an offense 303. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Keep penalties down. They don't, they don't turn the ball over a whole hell of a lot. So Kansas City is, is, is interesting because they're pretty much the perfect fucking team. Like, in all honesty, like, you got a 4,000-yard passer. Your tight end has is, 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 is 1,000 yards. I mean, Tyree Kill is just freaking insane. He's a cheetah. Honey Badger, six interceptions, like. They they're 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 just super super well rounded, so they're tough to 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 diagnose for me. In a manner of if they could actually lose or not, and I don't realistically think that they're gonna lose. I was trying to see if I could if I could, if I could find a narrative that 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 they would lose, like that they possibly could. The Browns, the Browns running running attack is is nothing to fuck with. Like, <clears throat> I think if you're gonna, if, if there's a way that you're gonna, you're gonna stop them, if you're gonna stop stop the Chiefs, it's gonna be be by time possession. But fuck it, we'll roll with the Chiefs. That gives us Rams Packers, and honestly, I feel like that one's kind of easy. Um, guys, overall, on the Rams are getting banged up. You know, so to speak, you got guys going down left and right for Green Bay. 
no, or, or not for Green Bay, for, for, uh, for, for, for Los Angeles. And that's just kind of happening at the wrong time. Um, a golf still looked well enough, you know, to, to, to lead the team, even after uh, Wolford, um, not, 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 uh, going, going out of the game and heading to the, to the ambulance. Of course, he was able to return and celebrate with the team, but all in all, Green Bay is favored 65.1%, uh, uh, to the 34.9% that is being given, uh, to the Rams. Uh, Green Bay favored by six and a half. I think the Rams could 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 probably cover that. I think the Rams could, you know, try try and cover it. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, Cup is questionable at this given moment, but um, I think that I think it'll be fine. One of the things I found I find interesting is uh, Velder. He'll be uh. It's the first time that, that 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 a player has played for two teams in the in the postseason during the same postseason. Um, of course, so the COVID rules allowed that to happen, uh, but he'll be out this game. But next game, he'll probably he'll probably be back. Um, I mean, this 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 game. Look, it's Aaron Rodgers. Like we're not we're not really gonna gonna think about picking against Aaron Rodgers. And I think that that's what allows us the ability to be like, all right, well. You know, yeah, Packers by six. You know, go ahead and take them. You know, the the over under <clears throat> set at forty five and a half. I'll I'll, I'll take the over. Uh, I'll take the over. Um, you know, I think that uh that that that, that both 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 these teams could, could could make this a game. Could could make this a game. Um, both teams are 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 capable of of putting up. You know. 20 points apiece. I, I can see that. Um, so, and then, and then it would just be up to, to, you know, the Packers to then close it out with that final, with that final touchdown drive. And I think that, 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 that pretty much be how, 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 how it could play out. Um, maybe somewhere along the lines of like, um, you know, 28, 21, something like that, you know, um, yeah, I, I just I, I just feel more confident in the in the, in the Packers, um, which would then lead to now let's get into the Super Bowl. So that breaks down, you know, all 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 the all, all the spreads. Um, you know, I think you take take the the over on the Bills, um, or or the under on the Bills, uh, possibly because of, because of the snow. Um, the Saints was, was a little bit tricky. It was a little bit tricky. I, I believe I said the under on that one. I think I said Chiefs and over on Rams Packers. Oh, I'll have to go back rewind and, and double check. Uh, so let's see now how that would lead us to conference championship, the conference, the conference games, uh, and this one. We'll start off with the NFC. Look, a battle of goats. If Breeze wants to want, want, wants to get to Super Bowl, he's got he, his his whole march is is through goats like himself, you know. Um, of course, Aaron Rodgers, you know, he got the bye. Um, you know, he'll have to play up against golf. <sighs> Pardon me. I just think that think 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 that Aaron Rodgers is cooking at the right time. Devontae Adams is cooking at the right time. Aaron Jones is cooking at the right time. That's the way that team is put put together. Um, I think that all the goats that Breeze is, is going to have to go through it. Like his easiest opponent was Trubisky. You know, now you're going to go up against Brady. You know, and then you're going to have to go up against Rodgers. You know, and then if you go through that, I think you would have to go up against Mahomes, who's who's a rising goat. You know, um, I just think that that it, it, Breeze's career it ends kind of bittersweet it's like oh like it's your last year it would, it would be nice you know you get the super bowl especially after the the, the the refs kind of screwing you over um but i think that bad man aaron Rodgers is just going to keep being that bad man um I'm, I'm gonna have to pick the packers um the afc oh this we keep coming down to these two we keep coming down to these two Okay, where it is 
Bills versus the Chiefs. I would love the upset. Okay. In the pick, the upset pick in the Bills, but, but we haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet in terms of Bills conference game. Like, to <sighs> this is one of those ones. Where if this matchup sets up the way that it does, okay, let's say, let's say, you know, Chiefs win, Bills win, now they meet each other in the conference game, okay? Say it goes down like this. These two meet up. It's hard for me to then decide who I like more. In my heart of hearts, I like the Bills more. Like, me as a person wants the Bills to win, okay? Me as a analyst and as a betting personality says you got to pick the Chiefs. Like my money, my bank account says go with what you know. You already know the Chiefs have been here before. Why would they not continue? So I'm going to keep it G. I'm going to keep it player. I'm going to go with my betting side, uh, not my football fan side. What me as a fan wants to see, you know, what me as a fan wants to see is the most underdog shit ever. Like, I want to see the most underdog shit ever happen, okay? Which I doubt that that'll happen. So I got to go, you know, with the analytics. Everything tells me. Again, on part two, I'm saying Chiefs Packers. We'll see what happens when I have to do this one last time. When it comes down to these, and I'm just picking these games, and it'll be whatever opponents win out of, you know, the, 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 the divisional rounds. Whatever opponents win out of the divisional rounds, I don't see it looking differently than this. I think that this is how it looks heading into the conference games. When divisional football weekend is all said and done, when we get through Saturday and Sunday, we're waking up Monday and we'll be like, all right, so this is what's going down. You know? Um, I think it looks exactly like this, which then leads us into, you know, how our Super Bowl would look, which it would be, it would be the Chiefs and the Packers. And I think Mahomes beats Rodgers. I think Mahomes beats Rodgers if that happens. If that matchup happens, and I'm like, Mahomes beats Rodgers. Like, you know, I just, I just, I, I, I could see that scenario, you know. Um, I mean, both these teams, like, I, I feel like th this would be a really good matchup. But even if the Bills got in, that'd be a really good fucking matchup. But I still think the Aaron Rodgers would lose. Like, if the Bills got in, I'd be like, yeah, you're going to lose. Like, do you see that defense? Like, you can't run like Josh Allen. You're the stallion. You're not fucking vanilla Vic Rodgers, you know? So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But I want to happen. The unpredictable topsy turvy shit that the fan in me loves, that would love to see happen. I know that's not gonna happen, but better the batting man in me this time in part two of this video series. I focus more so on the money, try to be a little bit more logical, um, and play the numbers that way. And this is what we come up with. This is what we come up with. This is what I come up with. Um, based off of my intuition, you know, my, my gut feeling, um, you know, in terms of betting, you know, so those are my predictions. I hope that you guys like it, love it, appreciate it. Um, you come back for more of it next week for part three. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's, I got, I got Chiefs Packers going down to the, to the end. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, give me uh, your, your your time, your patience. 
Um, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the content if you have not already. If you have, share it again and again and again. Um, and yeah, y'all know how it goes, you know. Um, for a little, little shine, shine, little shine, shine. Make sure that you guys share the content. Like I said, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, all that good stuff, all your social medias. Um, follow me on all social media at Run Boys Fantasy Network. Just search us Run Boys Fantasy Network at Run Boys spelled Z N E T. You'll be able to find us um pretty much everywhere. Uh, sign up for runboys.com. It's free. Go to runboys.com, click the sign in button, and join. It's that easy. Um, also remember uh monkeyknifefight.com promo code runboys in all caps, just like you see behind me. Match the deposits all the way up to fifty dollars um, on your first deposit. Um, on deposits all the way up to fifty dollars. So make sure you guys head over to MonkeyNightFight.com and check us out there. Y'all already know how it goes. It's your boy Run Boys Robbie, A.K. Robbie J. A.K. The Admiral. Um, again, thank you guys for joining us for the predictions. Hopefully, it helps you guys win some money. If it does. Make sure that you come back to this video and let me know. Also, drop your predictions, your updated predictions from last week or this week in the comment section. Dilly dilly, y'all. Cheers to me. Cheers to you all, the rough boys and girls. What it do? We out of here. Peace. Ah.